What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Slime. Season 2, episode 14. Veldora last time, bro. Like, I literally like the, the, um, the title of the video said on YouTube. I could not stop smiling that episode. He... Just seeing him, just, oh, I can't even, like, speak. Just seeing him makes you happy. His smile is contagious. Anyway, this is making me mad. This, like, uh, this fucking thing. Anyway, um, but yeah. Uh, I don't want to talk too much because I want to, uh, record two, uh, videos today and then edit, uh, <clears throat> one of them at least for YouTube. Uh, if I have time... I will try to do two YouTube videos, but I don't know if I... With my grandma staying here, it makes it kind of hard. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, let's jump into the reaction, guys. Holy Empire of Blue Bellies? Who's here? I don't know if we've ever heard of this kingdom, have we? Oh! Is that a Harlequin? Mm. What? What was he? He was like still thinking when his body parts were separated. This is the guy who reads the manga. Ooh. I was gonna say, bro, I thought they were friends. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? He doesn't believe him? Oh. Huh? Pagli? Is that what it says? I'm gonna have to pause. I saw Footman fear. Hang on. And Clayman, too. They've been waiting for his return. So then they all work for him. Well, he's in a new body, but is he still a demon lord, or would he have to, like, do all that over again? I don't know how it works. Maybe it's just the soul and not the body. I don't know. Maybe not, though. They all work for this guy? Okay. Or did? I don't know. Maybe that is in... I don't know. Rimuru's interest. But not intentionally so. Hmm. I mean, he does want to know about the Holy Church, doesn't he? マオ見る、マオ震い、マオたちは3人の連名でいろいろできるんやな。よく覚えよ。悪プルキス。お前にしては冴えてるじゃん。せやら。さて、どういう気分かな。うん。プニプニ。ビルトラはどうしてる?は
I love you, Veldora. Mmm, subtle. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> It's okay. He's got him handled. Uh, I don't know if it was praise. What? Oh, the church. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Wow. Oh, that was good. あ、ばいでよ、ヨーエニミー。コンセルクニに喧嘩を売るのは愚かですからな。そういうことだ。うん。ほほ。今の発言は俺たちが正方正教会を敵に。They <笑> Hell yeah, I would side with him too. Okay. ルミナス教の教義を破ったことは一度もなく最も模範的な気質。ルミナス。純然たる法と秩序の守護者ということです。それほどのものなら、なぜ召喚儀式を阻止しようとはしないんだ。ルミナスはそれを考えているのかな。
Well, that was a lot to take in. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna have to watch that scene again in the beginning, guys. Sorry. All right, guys. So after I rewatched the whole first scene, so I get it. So wall purges the requirement of three votes to move forward on a proposal that's what they want to do um this whole i should say yuki yuki kagurazaka uh the grand master who is now we know like moving against rimuru he's the one who told uh shit oh shit i forgot what rimuru said he was i remember a mole a mole a mole, a mole. who t oh who told hinata that he oh, motherfucker i already forgot what, what he said god damn it something with shion that he killed shion wasn't it or kind of like that Yeah, Shizu, Shizu, not Shion. I'm fucking too many SHs. So he's the only one who knew that he killed Shizu, his soulmate, but obviously didn't give all the details, wanting them to fight. We don't know why he wants them to fight. We don't know why he wants Rimuru to go down. And it might not be about Rimuru. It might be about, like, his ultimate goal here, right? So... Yuki's working with and is the leader of this whole Demon Lord Alliance, it seems. He's the, like, leader of... He's leading Demon Lord Fle Frey, Clayman, Milam, and, um, Kazarim, their president, also calls Yuki boss, so working for them, too. And the Harley Quinn Alliance, they're working for him as well. Um, they want to call forward this, uh, Walpurgis, I don't know how to say it, Walpurgis, I don't know. Uh, that requirement of three votes to move forward on a proposal, which I don't know what the proposal would be. I don't know what he's going to ask for or want to move forward, but they want to draw Valentine out. And maybe that's just like they're going to come up with some bullshit thing just to get him out. Like they're calling this meeting all the demon lords have to come. Um, but they want to find out more about the Western Holy Church. And I guess since he's kind of like the leader over there, not kind of is, then... You need to lure him out and the only way you're going to get him out is and that's also a way to confirm if he is the demon lord because it's really a theory right now but they're pretty sure is to call this wall purges um again if it's if i'm understanding correctly that like all demon lords are required to attend um but do you not have to meet some sort of like standard to even like hold this council meeting i don't know um Anyway, but I really don't know why. Like what Rimuru said, like why is Yuki against him? Like what does he want? What is his plan? Because it can't just be to take him down just because. Like highly ambitious, like and twisted and weird. That, that that's what Laplace accused Yuki of being. So it's got to be something that I'm never gonna think of. Got to be more to it than just power for the sake of power. You know, like, I want it to be something more complex. You know? I don't know. I, I just, that would be boring if it was just, oh, just because. Just because I want to be powerful. No, 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 no. I don't want it to just be that. Please don't do that. Um, sorry, I was thinking about Veldora. Um, and so they're all meeting together back at, like, Rimuru's place. Still trying to figure out what this guy wants i don't get it anyway um he's got all of these people on his side they're pretty much saying well now that we know you've got veldora on your side we really we were not they would would they would have been afraid to go against the holy church before but now they're not because they have they have veldora on their side as well as you know Rimu. he's pretty powerful um especially now being a demon lord uh but I guess they're kind of saying, like, we have nothing really to fear now, since you know we have, you have Veldora on your side. But still, he's like, I don't want us to antagonize them yet. Like, don't, don't get involved yet. 
Like, let's, let's just, let's plan things out a little more. I mean, they haven't really set a plan in place yet, so. Then again, I don't know. What could they possibly even plan? Because they don't, this, I'm assuming they're going to have to put a plan together after this council meeting is called, because what would be the point in forming this whole plan? And then, oh, there's a council meeting, like, now... Wouldn't he have to go? Because he's a demon lord. What is that? Is it not how it works? There's only certain people, like a select few demon lords. I'm not sure. Um, like, no one even really knows he's a demon lord yet, so... Would the Grand Master know? Well, now he knows that he's most likely the mole. But see, this is... I, I just don't know if he told him anything yet. I, I don't... He could have done it behind the scenes. I don't know. Well, I hope you didn't. I hope you didn't. Oh, what else do I want to say about this episode? I just want to make sure I'm understanding. Like, all the... I could comment on all the funny, like, moments, but there weren't too many this episode, and I want to focus really hard on all, like, the... The, the details, the information that we were given this episode. I feel like I understand everything. I don't know who Leon Cromwell is, and he's responsible for Kazarim's state. I don't know. I remember that name being mentioned. I just can't remember who it was. I have to look it up. Hang on. Leon Cromwell. Images. Have we never met him? I don't I looked up the image, sorry, but like I don't recognize that motherfucker. Maybe I've just heard the name before and I've never seen him. But um I didn't like see any spoilers or anything, guys. Just what he looks like. I'm not even gonna tell you what he looks like in case nobody wants to know. But I don't know, I don't remember. I don't remember how he was involved in the show in the past. I feel like Clayman mentioned him. If I am I wrong? Well, anyway, so now you need to maybe work on your relationship with Hinata, but she doesn't, she thinks you're dead, so maybe not, but that might be one of the things you have to, to do before you do anything with this church, is like, maybe if you can get her on your side, it will help things. Then again, you got a freaking vampire leading the church, which he's, I don't know, says he's like super against monsters. But that doesn't even make sense because you really despise humans. Is it just a cover? Like it's so it is it's really weird. It is weird that he would I don't I don't know. It's just like so no one would suspect you of being a vampire? I don't I don't know. It's confusing. I don't really get that. Why if you despise humans do you send your people to go kill so many monsters? It's a good cover, I I'll give him that, but like Ultimately, what does that help you achieve? Like, are you just killing people behind the scenes, or? I don't know. He called him Vermin. Lopless. What is he? Is he a human? Like, I don't know what he is. He's an assassin, I think they said. But, like, what is he? His race. His species, whatever. I don't know what... Hmm. He's human, I would think. He's human. He looks human with just a mask on. You never know in this show, though. You never know. I don't know. Am I talking too much? This review is probably so annoyingly long. I'm just trying to make sure I comprehend everything, but I'm sure you guys will clear some shit up for me in the comments. Just don't spoil anything. Answer my questions that can be answered, or should be answered right now, and nothing more. But anyway, I'll end it here so I can... Um, uh, record Parasite for you guys. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out. Uh, and sign up to support the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.